form of Tom Cruise. So first of all, you notice that the headline and lifeline are separate. This is the headline which I've painted in red. And you see that the headline is going all the way down to the Mount of Murphy, which is the Mount of Imagination. So it shows his talent, which is also shown by the third finger being longer than the first finger. So this, these both indications show raw talent. And here we see that I have not drawn over the fate line. This is the fate line which is coming here. It's going like this. So I have not drawn over the fate line which is coming from the wrist, which means this person is self-motivated. Because to show you the color that the fate line should not be too dark, it should not be too light. It should be medium color. So medium color means the best type of fate line which promises opportunities. And then I've drawn over the fate line when it passes from the 40s because it changes direction. So when it changes direction, is at the same time the fate line for a same time the headline changes direction if you see the headline is going straightish then it goes downward so when it goes downwards the fate line also changes so this means that the person is going through changes so as it's going downwards this means that tom cruise is naturally materialistic as shown by the heart line starting from saturn is becoming less materialistic and more open to philanthropic activities similarly in the work itself when he entered the 40s he started producing uh, as well as acting so he, uh, his work shifted to producing as well so that's why the shift in the fate line that which was the shift in the work and the shift in the thinking as well so both of these changes happened he became more philanthropic and he started producing more films and then we see that the lifeline is very strong it's uh, strong till the end so this shows his vitality venus mount is taking a lot of space this also shows his vitality his charisma his energy and his uh, power and then we see that Jupiter is developed, which shows his ambition, and Mercury is developed, which shows his expression, expression ability, his expressive ability, his money-making talent, which is also shown by the Mercury finger also being exceptionally long. If you see, it's uh, a long Mercury finger would reach here, uh, an exceptionally long Mercury finger reaches here. So this is why he's the richest actor in the world, which is shown by the Sat Sat Saturnian heartline as well. And the heart line is upward swerving a bit, so this person is expressive as we also show on the, saw on the Oprah Winfrey show that he became very expressive, uh, jumping on the sofa and everything, so he's an expressive type of personality. Now why he didn't get along with Nicole Kidman is because if you see that his Mars mounts are not that strong, which shows that he is uh, one of the sensitive type of person. So that's why Nicole Kidman is not that sensitive type of person, she's more headstrong. So this person, Tom Cruise, needs a more sensitive type of person. I think he did not find that in Nicole Kidman and Katie Holmes. I'm not sure if he's in a relationship right now, but he would do better with someone who can, who is also sensitive like him. And then that relationship will be successful. Uh, his, his, nowadays his career will be going up and up because he also has a good sunline which I forgot to draw. So that sunline is from the post 50 so he's in his 50s right now so there will only be success ahead for him top film 2 is also going to come and that's going to be a hit movie as well mission possible sequels are coming those are going to be hit movies so there's only uh, a hit movies ahead for him and he just the only thing would be he li would like to be more in control now like uh, more in the because as he's a producer he has more control over things so he would like to be having more control than only acting so that's not a bad thing he would like to have more control over his projects. So if there's one word to describe why he's so successful, that's his charisma, his raw charisma, which is shown by the Venus Mount, the headline going downward, and the Apollo finger being longer than the Jupiter finger. All these points lead to his charisma. So that's all for Tom Cruise's form. We think there's only success ahead for him again. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.